Hi, welcome back to Operation Reconciliation. I just had to hop on real quick because, you know, there are some things that really uh, need to be addressed. Um, so last night, uh, about 10 minutes from where we live, there was um, a shooting at one of the New Year's Eve celebrations in the downtown area of the nearby city of where we live. And nine people were shot. One was fatal. While I'm not, I don't, I don't know for certain all the details and who did the shooting and who was shot and all of that. I do know that in this area, um, there has been a lot of black on black crime, uh, black on black shootings, our young men killing each other, killing the women, you know, um, kids getting caught up in all of the mess. Um, and, and it's, it's terrible. But what I want to say is this to my um, African brothers and sisters who remain on the continent. Be careful what you see. Be careful what you hear. Be careful who you trust. Because while it looks like it appears, and I know many of you think that, um, that we're over here just living it up, you know, or think that we, we got it better. We got, we, we got it better out of the whole deal. But a lot of you are unaware of the cost, all these, what it costs to have all these things, you know, that it, that it appears that we're just living the life. It costs a lot. It costs a lot that many of us are not willing to pay. And then you got to ask yourself, why? Because I know uh, for Ghana in particularly, a lot of African Americans, I'm, 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 I'm stay with my, with my AAs right now, and um, are, are moving to Ghana. So I would ask my Ghanaian brothers and sisters to ask yourself, why? Why would people that you think are experiencing such a wonderful, lavish, luxurious lifestyle, why would they leave such a place? A place that many of you are striving to get to, many of you think is your, your heaven on earth, your slice of you know heaven on earth or you think is um, the place to be, or you think you're going to go there and have this American, this great American dream. You know, you've got to stop and ask yourself, why? Why would they leave what appears to be heaven on earth? And so my thing is, you know, what you have to understand, and, and this is what happens when I come, when, the last time, well, when we come over there, I see a lot of the youth and I see, uh, and, and even some of the, uh, young adults, you know, picking up some of the Western ways, some of the, the Western music, the Western movies and trying to pick up the way they act. And, and you think it's cool and you think it's, but what you don't know is our communities are suffering over here because of that foolishness. Our communities didn't work. We're not like this. I'm old enough. And I, I came up in the transitional period of it where rap, I was, st I was still young enough that I, I knew what rap, I knew the original rap music and, and what it, um, uh, sound like and what they talked about, you know, in comparison to what's being represented, what's been sent out to represent us. You know, so be careful of who you seek wisdom from. Your leaders need to be careful of who they're seeking counsel from. Because a lot of these people, some of us are leaving here because of this garbage. We're tired of it. We've tried to stop it. We've tried to encourage our people not, not to do these things, not to sell out your community for some money. Because the images that they want to portray us as, they want to betray us, portray us as animals 
who can't be tamed or need taming. You know, and so where, you know, and, and, and then you have these, these people who, I, to me, my opinion is you sell, they're selling out their communities for a dollar. And so they put out this music, they put out this, these, um, so-called entertainment and art. And then our, our young, our, our young minds, young impressionable minds pick it up and then they feel like, oh, this is cool. Oh, this is, this is what it's, this is what it's supposed to be. Oh, this is how it's supposed to act. This is what makes me a man. This is what makes me a woman. And they pick this behavior up and it ruins our family unit. It ruins our communities because why now they want to shoot you over an argument. Now we have our young men shooting and killing. Now even the, our young adults. So, I mean, it's so young as 15, 14, killing each other, grabbing a gun to settle arguments about nothing or even the whole drug issue. I'm young enough. I mean, I'm old enough to where when I was growing up, my, the community we live in, I was in that transitional period where, where drugs came in and just wreaked havoc over, on our communities. And this is what I tell my own children. Yeah, they make, be careful what you listen to. They glorify this junk and they make it look like it's so wonderful. And, and this is the way to be. This is the way to live. And it's glamorous. And you have all these things. They're lying to you. I've seen the mothers on drugs who won't uh, feed their children. I've seen families destroyed because of addiction and, and, and their sons and their daughters being put in jail for selling dope. I've seen communities who were nice, peaceful places that were nice, peaceful, peaceful places to live turn into like a jungle. But the thing is this, we got to think people, and I'm, and I'm here to let you all know, my brothers and sisters who remain on the continent. See, this was before the internet. This was before they, they, you had the opportunity to know how we were living for real over here. See, now we can tell our story and you can hear it from us. We didn't have the boats to bring this stuff over here. We didn't have the airplanes to bring this stuff over here. But somehow we ended up in our communities. Somehow it ended up in our communities and tore up our communities. We got to think people. Think what would make a person or a people leave a place that appears to be heaven on earth. Appearances aren't all what, you, what they cracked up to be. And, and those you have, those of us like us here at Operation Reconciliation, even, even the young people a part of Operation Reconciliation are screaming and yelling at you saying, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't listen to that. Don't let your children go to these places. Don't allow these people to be uh, representatives of your community. Look at what your children are listening to. Some of them, you can simply pick up the album cover and the album cover and tell this ain't something we need to be listening to. Watch your gates, your ears, your eyes. Watch your gates. You are the keeper of you. And parents, you are the keeper of your children. This is what that music has done to our community. So when people come to tell me, you know, oh, this person is doing this in the community. Oh, they're doing that in the community. I'm like, good. You should spend every dime you have that you use to sacrifice your people so that you can make a dollar. Why are you going out here making the world think this is how we act? 
You're going out here making it, making people think that this is how black men carry themselves. This is all our people are about. All we want to do is twerk. All we want to do is curse and 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 sell dope and shoot each other. And this is what they have put out to the world that we are. And some of them didn't want to do it, but to make the dollar, the people behind it that didn't look like them <clears throat> and had ulterior motives, <clears throat> this is what they wanted them to put out, to push, to further push the agenda that they had prior to. When they made movies and, and portrayed black men as these raging monsters going and chasing after white women and the damsel in distress. Oh. And he was so crazed after the white woman. Go do, do your research. And I want to say this to our African brothers on the continent. Our history is also your history. Pull up African American history. Pull up these things. We have the internet. Make it work for you. Forget about that entertainment. I'm, everybody needs to be entertained once in a while. Let your head down, you know, hey, release some stresses or whatever. But make sure that entertainment is wholesome. Make sure that entertainment is conducive, furthermore. Conducive to you having a well-sustainable moral compass about your community. Don't, please don't think that we are okay with that stuff. The problem is a lot of times we have very little control over it. Cause when you got a couple of them that's willing to just get out there and just do whatever these people say they want to see from us. We don't have, I'm gonna tell you right. We don't, we didn't have the money to push that stuff. It was the people that took us, called us animals, treated us like animals who was paying for that paying for it to be put out and then and then they say you know this, it, listen to what they say and there, there's a popular you know video out right now listen talking about they they they, rep they wanted them to to influence you know as young as eight years old the enemy is sitting there telling you exactly what his plan is. Why would you want to sit? What? And I'm like, you're old enough to know the mess that you're putting out. You should not. It's not even age appropriate for an eight year old. And the thing is, is that they set these people up to make them look like they're so, you know, humanitarian and to, and to look like they're so, you know, like they, they do these, these little community things so that you can receive them. It's kind of like give a dog a bone. And once you receive them and it's like, now, oh, you, get, you got my money now, but you don't want to, I can't play my music here. I can't, oh, you, you don't want to support my agenda, but you took my money. And it starts that way. It starts out as if it is just entertainment, just art. Oh, they have connections. Oh, they know how to raise money. Oh, they. I'm, we had a saying when we would grow up. They, the the, uh, the elders would tell us uh, everything that glitter ain't gold. Just because it's shiny and it looks good doesn't mean it is good. It really hurts my heart when I come over there and I see the young men sagging their pants and, you know, listen to all this foolishness. And I'm like, you all have no idea what this has done to our community. But it's time for us to tell you and to show you what these things have done to our community. It has destroyed us. It has destroyed our family unit. Now we have issues, and I probably, you know, we might make a uh, video about this later, but now we have issues with, with I've, I've been hearing this so much, is, is black love still alive? How is it that, you know, our youth are now questioning 
Is it even possible for a, a black man and a black woman to come together? Like what? See, these are the things that you all don't know, but it's, our, it's, it's on us to tell you. And I'm going to tell you. Because then you have all the, and now the thing is, from my understanding, from what I'm told, because I don't, I don't really listen to a lot of these people, uh, is that the thing is now for our women that, you know, don't, don't sweat being, you know, uh, laid up on and, and, and they having sex with you, as long as you get something out of it, I, I forget what it is they call it now, but this is what the young folks tell me. And I was like, what? I remember being taught not to allow somebody to disrespect you like that. And that was supposed to be acceptable. And yet we have so many of our women on social media is where I see it a lot, complaining and, and, and having issues with finding a husband. Or, or, or this, and then if, if you watch, you got to watch. You got to watch as well as pray. These artists, these people come out, they put this garbage out here for your little young impressionable mind and grown folk too. And when they make their money, they all staying in the communities they told us was whack. And I'm probably using old language because I'm just older. Here's what it is. But... <laughs> They go off living in their nice neighborhoods, sending their kids to private schools, doing all these wonderful things, and your child is left listening to the garbage. Oh, all of a sudden, these, these women out here that, how many, ask yourself, most of our women rappers out right now, it seems to me like they have to just reveal everything about their bodies in order to make it. How many do you see doing that in other genres? How many women in other genres, genres do you see of other ethnic groups, other colors being exposed like our women? How many? It's almost as if we have to do that to make it, to make it. We have got to watch and use wisdom. And my young people, you brilliant minds, use your conscience, your God-given conscience that tells you something ain't right about that. Don't, don't, don't just let that, don't just let that pass you over. Don't ignore that for the sake of being cool or being in or for, for, for being relevant. There is a God given thing put inside of you called your conscience that tells you when something is right or wrong. Let that speak to you. Africa, please. I promise you don't want this. You don't want this. It's hard raising children in societies like this, especially when you don't want that to be. I don't want my girls when around here feeling like the only thing they're valued for is their bodies. And if she can't twerk, she ain't worth nothing. I don't want my sons thinking I got to walk around here and look like a hoodlum in order to be perceived as something. When in actuality, nobody else perceives you as anything other than the hoodlum next to you. The rest of them laughing at you. You are a byword to the rest of the world. 
because they all sitting around wondering what in the world is wrong with them people? What is wrong with those black people? And so I was looking at the article on TikTok. It was the first thing that came on my TikTok. No, it wasn't TikTok. It was on Instagram. I'm sorry. I don't even want to look at TikTok unless somebody sent me a video. Um, on my Instagram about the shooting last night. And so I went into the comments. And, and I see this all the time. There's news about something happened and a black person was involved in shooting or something like that. And a white man says... Black, the black community is getting out of hand. And then a white woman replies to his comment and says, oh, don't worry. Alabama is about to pass the, what is it, the, the, the no concealed law where you can have a, a gun on you with, and it doesn't have to be concealed. Okay, so uh, let me get back to her comment. So she says, oh, don't worry. Alabama is about to pass this law. And I'm paraphrasing right here. And then you can start shooting back at them. And that attains some of that. Yes. And then. I'm like, okay, first of all, and here's the sad part. Part of the sad part. Is they're not shooting at you. Most times when there's a, a black shooting or a, a, a black people related to a shooting, they're shooting at each other. I would go so far as to say 98, 99.5% uh, of the time they're shooting at each other. So why do you feel the need as a white woman to shoot them? They're not shooting at you. They're not coming into your community, shooting you, shooting up the place. They're not. They're staying in their communities, shooting themselves. So that tells me you're just looking for an opportunity to kill one of our boys. To kill one of our people. You're just looking for the license to hunt. And then, second thing is, though they may pass the law, that, does, that still didn't open up the right to just murder people. So what would be, what would be the reasoning? Oh, you fear for your life? Why? They're not shooting at you. People, we've got to use the God given sense to understand when we are being targeted. And guess what? The enemy is so conning. He's going to use your own people. Because it's obvious if they come to you and say it or do it. But when they get your own, hey, just put this music out here. And we, yeah, we'll help you raise, you know, 100 million. We'll help you raise, a, you know, they got way more money than that. But we'll help you do that. Why? So, so your people can, can, can hail you. So your people can think you're doing good things. As long as you keep putting that music out now. Keep putting that, you know, that gangster crime, you know, it's one thing to talk about what you're going through. It's another thing to um, glorify it. Keep putting that, that music out because y'all doing a good job of killing yourselves with it. This, this is the agenda. And it's even deeper than that, but I'm not going to go into all that right now. Some people are real, real conning. And except you have a spirit of discernment and use the wisdom that God put in you to know when you are being hunted. I challenge my brothers and sisters on the continent who are at home still. Look up some of these movies about true events in history because the tactics haven't changed. The appearance has. Look up some of these movies 
about um, slavery and all those movies that come from America. Look them up. Y'all have access now to like um, different um, streaming sites. Pull them up. Because our history is also your history. And if you're going to learn from us, you have to be willing to learn from us. So the next time you see a diaspora and you have the time to talk to them, ask them, ask for yourself. Why did you leave? Why did they give up all of this to come there? And then challenge your leaders to talk to them as well. Not just these celebrities who tend to be pawns in these people's hands. I'm not saying all of them, absolutely not. Use wisdom because it runs deep in your veins. And we out. Happy New Year.